Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'd like to discuss the difference between a combination AFCI breaker and a dual function breaker. A lot of times people get these mixed up. Uh, this happens to be a home line panel right here and it is not energized at all. So don't worry about that. I'll st I'm still using a thousand volt insulated screwdriver to point things out. But um, so this is, is your CAFI combination arc fault interrupter breaker right here and this goes with this plug on neutral panel you see this is a neutral bar here this is a neutral bar here and this is a, a home line system where there's a space right here and you can just take these off like that you see this space right here goes right here and this bus bar right here goes right here onto this spring so there's a spring that goes onto here and there's a spring that goes onto here and you can just put it on just like that and what this plug on neutral system does is it eliminates having to have a pigtail that would go to the neutral bar and it's just very nice to work with these plug on neutral breakers as opposed to the ones with the pigtail so let's talk about this combination arc fault breaker a little bit here. Uh, one thing you notice, it has a white test button, whereas the GFCI plus combination arc fault circuit interrupter breaker has a purple test button. That's one thing you'll notice right away. But let's, let's talk about this, and I want to tell you why it's a combination arc fault breaker and we'll go over what this one does that this one doesn't do. A combination arc fault interrupter can be abbreviated CAFI or you could call it a combination arc fault circuit interrupter and it would be abbreviated CAFCI. I've seen it both ways and they mean the same thing. A combination arc fault circuit interrupter can detect a parallel arc and it can detect a series arc. The NEC requires that all AFCI breakers be the combination type. But what are parallel arcs and series arcs? For this explanation I'm going to go to the Snyder Electric webpage and that's the company that makes both Square D and Homeline. A parallel arc occurs when electricity intermittently jumps a gap between wires of different voltages, such as line to line, that'd be two hot conductors of different phases, line to neutral, or line to ground. An example of what may cause a parallel arc is a nail protruding through drywall, damaging the wire in the wall and exposing the hot and neutral wires. If the damaged wires are close enough together, an arc may occur between the exposed wires. This cable had a parallel arc. A series arc occurs when electricity intermittently jumps a gap between two or more points within the same phase. An example of what may cause a series arc is if a wire is only loosely connected under the screw of a wall switch and there are very small gaps between the wire and the terminal. If the gap is small enough, an arc may occur between the wire and the terminal. Because a series arc occurs within the same phase, the amount of current is no higher than the load current itself. This device experienced a series arc. Now let's discuss the dual function breaker. The dual function breaker is a combination type AFCI Plus, it's a 5 milliamp GFCI breaker as well. Over here on the left, I have uh, 2023 to 10.8. Uh, this is about GFCI and where it's needed in a dwelling unit. And over here, I have a similar list from 210.12. And this is about AFCI protection and where it is needed in a dwelling unit. And notice right here, um, under the GFCI, you got to have GFCI protection in kitchens. And there it is, number one over here for AFCI protection. So that's an area that needs both. And then 
And then over here we have laundry areas. And over here under AFCI we have laundry areas. So there's two areas where you need both GFCI and AFCI protection. So the dual function breakers would be perfect for those areas. You can use them throughout the house, but it's a really good idea for places like the kitchen and the laundry areas. For places like dens and bedrooms, you could use just combination AFCI breakers. I've noticed quite a price difference in these breakers lately. At, uh, like say Home Depot is charging $66 for the breaker I showed in the video and Amazon is at $45 and different vendors are, uh, have different prices and I've noticed that if you buy 10 or more you can get a pretty good break. So what have you guys noticed? Uh, put down in the comments, try to help each other out when you need to buy them. I really hope that that clears up any confusion you may have had between the combination AFCI and the dual function breakers. They have similar names and people often do get confused. So thank you very much and I hope this video was helpful.